Hello and welcome. This tutorial will show you how to create a basic flow in Infor RPA Studio using OneDrive activities to download files from a OneDrive folder and move to a separate OneDrive folder. First, we will present the use case overview of how we will build the workflow, then present how to create the RPA flow and execute it, and finally, we will recap the list of activities used in the flow. For today's use case, we first need to build a flow that will get the OneDrive folder. Next, we will download the files into the local system, and at the end, the files will be moved to a separate SharePoint folder. The last prerequisite is to have the OAuth provider Microsoft Office 365 created, an application Microsoft Office 365 authorized in Infor RPA management. For more information on how to do so, check out our RPA user guide documentation. To support this use case, we need two OneDrive folders in our Microsoft Office 365 account in the root folder. One of the folders should contain the file which we will be downloading. Next, we need to create one folder where we will store the downloaded files. And here's the local system folder that we will specify within our RPA flow for the purpose of accessing the downloaded files locally. And just to reiterate, in order to successfully implement the RPA and OneDrive activities, you'll need to create a Microsoft Office 365 provider as indicated here in RPA management within Infor Ion. To build the RPA flow, we should go to RPA Studio and create a new project. For this tutorial, we will reuse the already existing flow and walk you through how it was configured. We will start our flow by getting files from the OneDrive folder we will be downloading. For that, we need the Find Files or Folders activity part of the OneDrive category. Let's select the activity and configure it. For the subfolder property, which should contain the name of the folder from where we will read the files, let's create an argument called read folder of type string and default value demo underscore RPA underscore OneDrive underscore write. Please note, if left empty, the bot will read the files from the root folder. If you wish to read files from a nested folder, specify the following path, folder, forward slash, subfolder, forward slash, etc. Then the query property should stay empty. For item, we can create a variable instead of the argument as it will store the first item ID from the read folder called item1 of type OneDrive item. For results, we can create a variable instead of the argument as well. This variable will store the list of items ID found in the folder, called item list of type OneDrive item array, which will be the array of OneDrive item. To find the array of OneDrive item data type, expand the variable type and select array of type T. Next in the select types pop-up, expand the dropdown under T value and click browse for type and select OneDrive item under the Infor Activities OneDrive model domain and click OK, then click OK again. Next, we will get the folder where the files should be moved. We will use the same activity as previously defined called find files and folder, but configure it differently with the following. For query, which is a filter for finding the exact folder to read, we will create an argument called move folder of type string and with the default value demo underscore RPA underscore OneDrive underscore move. The subfolder property should stay empty as we will be looking for the folder inside of the root folder of OneDrive. For item, we can create a variable instead of the argument as it will store the first item ID found in the read folder called move1 of type OneDrive item. For results, we can also create a variable instead of the argument as this variable will store the list of items ID found in the folder. This will be called move list of type array of OneDrive item, which should be left without any default value. Now we will create the loop to store each of the read files and move it into the second OneDrive folder once downloaded. For that, we need to add the for each activity and specify the following. For the type property, that will be the OneDrive item, which is the same as the single object type from the item list variable. For the value property, we'll define it as item list. And in the activity on the design canvas, you will see the following text for each item in item list. 
the item is signifying the single male object in this example within the list of objects, the list of file paths. Next, inside of the for each block, we will add a few activities. Select the sequence activity and place it within the for each block. Inside of the sequence block, we will add download file to download the OneDrive folder and save the files in the file directory on the local system by specifying the following properties of this activity. For download location, which is where the files should be downloaded, we can create the following argument called download folder of type string and the following default value. And for file to download, which is the path of the downloaded file or folder, define the item which is the one specified in the for each block. As the last step, we will define the activity to move the downloaded files to a different OneDrive folder. For this, we need the move file or folder activity inside of the sequence block under the for each activity and specify the following properties. For file or folder to move, specify the item as the same variable as in the for each activity. For the destination folder, specify the variable move1, which is the output from the find files or folders activity. And after taking some time to review the overall flow, let's proceed to save it in RPA Studio. Now we can run the flow to see the execution. In the output page of the RPA Studio, you can check the logs of the activities to see if they were executed without throwing any errors. Since the activity code is 200, we know that it executed successfully. You can also see that the files were moved from the first OneDrive folder to a separate folder. And the files are now stored in the local system folder specified within the RPA flow. Now we can publish the flow to RPA management within the InforOS multi-tenant environment. To do so, Please follow our separate tutorial on how to publish an RPA flow into RPA management, along with many other tutorials that are available on the developer portal at developer.infor.com. During this tutorial, we have successfully downloaded the files from OneDrive and moved them to a different OneDrive folder using the following activities. OneDrive activities such as find files or folders, get file or folder, download file, and move file or folder as well as workflow activities such as for each. And that concludes the demo. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links in the description and make sure to subscribe to get the latest content.